Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Baruin Build. Today we are back here in our little log farming area and I have some things to show you. Mainly just that I got everything built from last episode. In the last episode, we built up this greenhouse right here and this is where our birch is technically grown and chopped down an identical one was also built up in that episode but we did not build this one in that episode we built this one i have altered the sides just a little bit added this sort of almost gear looking thing i think it's a cool it's just a cool aesthetic uh, nothing particularly interesting about it beyond that just looks um, I think it looks really good I added all of the different plants in here along the sides that added a ton to this this looks so much better now that there's a ton of green going on and I put some trees in it just to show you exactly what it looks like so some flowers up here and I even added up above some leafy stuff and I added in some vari variety of blocks in there. Like this has mushroom and acacia just to make it look a little bit more floral. Um, and then the same is probably up here. Yeah, mushroom and acacia. And then over here is our birch area. And this has some yellow blocks and some pink concrete just to add a little bit of flair. Um, and I'm actually going to chop these down uh, in between clips because we're out of birch saplings. I actually had to go and steal some from the sorting system uh, to actually be able to get some more. So that'll be fun. Here is the big guy that we did not check out. Um, also, before we check that out, I am in 115.2. Finally got around to updating. Um, and yeah, so no more zoom key and no more Optifine, but I will say this is running smooth like a butter. So it's nice. I really like it. I think it's a, it's a good update. We didn't, I didn't abuse 114 as much as I probably could have with like the villager trading and all that, but that's okay. Anyhow, here is what this building looks like. I decided to go with wooden beams. I think that it keeps with the theme here. Um, and it also would have looked, I think a little weird being stone. Um, so I went ahead with wood and along the sides here, we just got a different type, like an interesting type of pattern for support structure. Um, and then this area, this area is honestly going to be like air. I'm not going to, I don't think there's going to be stone here um, because I'm actually going to hopefully, if I remember to, uh, tear out all this stone and replace it with oak slabs um, and make this middle section like from here to here uh, on the half slab portion so that it's non-spawnable. Um, and this is actually going to be a, a sort of a floating courtyard, if you will, um, of oak. And that way, that's one thing about building in the Steampunk City is it's not hard because there's nothing in the way that's one thing that's great but the bad thing about it is i have to lay down these big platforms of stone and that uses up a ton of resources just to get a ground to work on um, so we're going to be going through and replacing some of this with oak just to get a good amount of stone back um, and then we are also going to be uh, working off camera on this system this is our waterway system um, and i'm going to try and figure out what this is going to look like from underneath the city as you can see the clowns are way down there so walking in i actually i ran out of brick and decided you know what jungle wood will go well with this and it does i actually almost like the jungle wood more but here is what the inside of this guy looks like big old long type of greenhouse and uh, these are not grown yet i ran out of bone meal um, but above here, this actually had to be pretty interesting because because these are wooden, it didn't make sense for these beams to be um, actually made out of stone. So these are logs that go all the way across. But the issue with these logs is you can't have logs touching limb like a uh, tree uh, leaves because the leaves won't decay. They'll actually they, those logs will provide life for them. So I had to block every little bit of the log off so that the leaves couldn't touch it. So we've got some, an interesting pattern um, and it's kind of, a, I, I actually really like how it turned out. I think it looks really cool. On top is also some leafy bits and this is where I actually first got the idea and then implemented it 
thereafter. Um, and so this is what this area looks like. I actually really love how this has turned out. This is just a fun centerpiece. Wanted to do something here that was a little bit more interesting and didn't have to have like a beam going all the way across and decided, you know what, doing a little sugar cane never hurt anybody. And I think it's an interesting use of the note block as well. Um, so that's pretty fun. This is what it looks like from afar. And that looks pretty cool. Gotta say, I really like how it looks. Um, so yeah, this is this is what this area has turned out to be. And I really like how everything looks. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working. You saw me building this little area over here. We're going to be working. Oh, I guess my um, chest texture isn't working. <laughs> OK, well, whatever. We'll fi I'll fix that. Um, I have most of the texture pack working, but I guess maybe the chest got renamed or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I've been building out here and this is where we're going to be working today, right in this chunk. Um, we're going to be working on the spruce and jungle log chopper downy thingy. I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's a mechanism that, uh, we'll get into, I guess, the lore and of it in a, a second, because there's a little bit of not lore, but background as to how it actually works. Um, because spruce and jungle trees are so big, um, it doesn't make sense in my mind for them to be able to grow in a greenhouse. So they have a an automated machine that they can actually like chop the stuff down. So let me go ahead and get some materials in line, get a platform laid out for us to build from, maybe do a little bit of swapping this stone out as well um, and then any other odds and ends that i need to get done before we continue building so i'll be back in just a second all right i have a little bit to show you here before we get into things are you flip daddly did do kidding me are you oh my i do not want to deal with you, sir. I just don't. Also, we're having some texture pack issues. Would you just... Nope, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, he touched me. Okay. Um, Let's see. Let's maybe... Nope, okay. Dodge the arrows. What if... What if we get him... To go... Off the edge fall to your doom all right <laughs> that is one way to take care of those guys uh i would recommend just killing them but he had a banner and we have villagers over there and i think that would count as a village and uh that yeah that i don't even know that that was on the fly thinking with pixel brew anyway i have some stuff to show you as you can see, I've been working on this uh, area here, figuring out what in the world I want the color palette of the flooring area to be. And I have an idea to run by you. So this is what I've currently been working with. Uh, this is going to continue all the way down as of now, going to continue all the way down to this portion right here, this circle. I think it's going to be kind of a uh, circular connection walkway amongst this entire area. Um, and so that was the plan was to have this come down to about here and connect up with this circle. And this would be uh, a, a detailed type of circle doodad to complement this. But I had a question I wanted to ask you. So seeing this now, do you think, do you like this with this central walkway area? Um, or do you think it would be better if we maybe brought this out to here and brought this out to here and we had i guess let's see if we brought that out by one or two and we brought this out by two that would leave a gap of not much literally one okay well hmm maybe that wouldn't work or the main thing i was thinking was do we want to have it be a little bit more open and have a vision like visible skyline down there it, do we want that the more i think about it the more i think we don't really have enough room like maybe if this these were maybe two or three blocks further apart we could do that but we don't really have that room so i think we're going to go along with this i think it ties in the steampunk city's orange a little bit i wanted to throw in some acacia also ties in the cr uh, crafting block bench block thing doodad 
uh, in with the color on top. So I think it looks good, I like it. So this is what I think I'm gonna go with, unless you have an idea. If you have an idea, leave it down below because I am always looking for ideas and uh, things to add um, to this world that are inspired by you because you guys are awesome. And now I think that's all that I have to show you that's new. Uh, a couple things to note, uh, some textures are going weird in this. I'm not really sure why. Um, chests in particular are weird. I'll show you one. It, it looks funny. Um, but I've been doing some planning over here and you see some blue and a lot of blue. This is the size of our spruce tree farm. Now this is a little bit of an uh, like this is not this big area here is not actually going to be a part of it. Um, it's really stops right here where this stops. That's actually all it is. It's only going to be this big and we're going to walk through it in just a second. But here's what the chests are doing. It's really weird. It's like it's reversing things. So the the inside is actually what the top should be or that looks like it should be the bottom. I don't know, it's it's wacky. Let's see, do we have any chests here? No, let's make a chest. So then, cause then you can see, and I'm not crazy. It's really strange. I'm not really sure what to do about it uh, besides go into the texture files and change them. See, this is what it is. It's, this is the inside of our chest. And then that is like the bottom and top are, are stuck on the inside there. Super weird, not sure what to do, but whatever, that's fine. Um, let's look at this. So this is what we are going to be using to grow spruce trees. Now I do have to say there's one, two, three, four, five, six cells here that are big enough to grow spruce trees. This is how what one cell is going to look like. Now there's going to be a podzole in the center. Just I haven't done that yet because I haven't put the rails down yet. Um, I honestly could do this one, this one, and this one without worry because we're actually only going to utilize these last three. Reason being is this is going to be a really tall machine, taller than any of these, um, and the purpose of it is going to be this one is going to be the growth cell, the growth cell of the uh, mega taiga trees and jungle trees. Um, and so we're going to have a... a uh, Spruce, a large spruce tree grown as an indicator of like what it's actually doing. Uh, so leaves and all that will be on it. Move over. This one is going to be actually um, every few times. There's a few blocks here that are actually going to be quote unquote power cells for this because the idea of this, the reason there are all these pistons is because it's going to be like it's um, almost like a conveyor belt and it moves the trees along. And the reason it can do that is because the scientists of the Steampunk City have uncovered a way to be able to grow these trees at an exponential rate. Um, and because of this, the tree's roots are actually excessively shallow, almost non-existent. Um, and that's just kind of a fun way for me to explain why this system would work. Um, so the idea of it is that they found a way to grow the trees super rapidly and the trees wouldn't stick around very long anyways because the roots can't support the actual like size of the tree. It would actually die. And so it's a it's a almost humane way of being able to gather wood if you think of trees as uh, people, I guess. Um, well, kind of not really. This this would be like, OK, I'm not going to go down that route, um, but yeah, we, so you're going to grow the trees here. This one's going to be a four show tree just to showcase, hey, this is what this is going to be about. This one is going to be a power cell, as I was saying. So this is going to be a conveyor belt type of thing. And this is going to be the visible power cell on this side. There's going to be two. And so I guess in opposite, they, they would be technically in opposite positions. And then this one is going to be where the tree choppy bit is. I put this as an indicator, this saw. So this is there's going to be an, a mechanism that chops all the limbs off of the trees. So that is what this big old machine is for. It's for growing them and then chopping them down to being just their large log structure, no limbs or anything. Um, and then these three are just going to be the ones that we actually use to grow them. 
Um, this entire portion up until this part is going to be encased in glass to contain all the flying limbs and stuff from the cutting and the growing. Um, and then it will be released here. I may put another power cell here and uh, extend this out by one uh, cell here. I think I actually might do that. But the reason this area is not I'm not considering as a part of the farm is because the trees are going to actually be like dropped off here like the conveyor belt would loop under and go back through and then the trees would because their roots are so small they actually just kind of tip over into a pile um, and so the trees will be here there will be a big old crane like right here to be able to grab them from this area and transport them to the other side where they can then be uh, you know chopped up for wood so that is the idea of this entire thing and I wanted to just show you this um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some more work done on this get some of the main structure stuff in get all the rails in maybe the transportation system in because that's not too hard and nothing really crazy to, to really that you would want to see um, and then yeah I'll bring you back with a little bit of an update all right, so I have been working and I have a good amount done, but I just had a really cool idea for the look of this that I wanted to bring you in to implement. Um, we're going to need quite a lot of interesting materials. So all of the minecart system is in place. And as you can see, I have now you, these are the battery type things or the power cells that I was talking about. And so this is what it was originally going to look like with fences on all of these, etc. Um, there were going to be some uh, stairs and trap doors just making a simple siding. But then I've gone and gone a bit over the top with this idea. And I really love how it looks. So we're going to take a quick second to implement it because this is actually going to be the new thing that we do. So what I'd like to do let's use this row as an example i have 48 smokers here what we're going to do is we're going to put a smoker here instead of a block and then we're going to put a smoker here right like that put a smoker there and there and that's going to be like that um actually let's put this here so the smoker has this really cool top texture, but we're not actually going to see the top texture here. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up like this, put two smokers right in the center here, and then again, a smoker right here. Now, this is where the interesting stuff comes into play because we're going to put some walls there, um, and then we are going to put fence gate and fence gate so now we have this sort of look and so the idea of it is that this is kind of like the attachment system that kind of drags things along alongside this being kind of a conveyor belt type of thing um, and so it just adds a little bit more mechanism feel to it um, and i also think once all of these are in it starts looking really cool with this like gridded pattern of pistons and smokers and all this stuff it starts looking really really cool so let me go ahead and put all these in and then there's one final thing that really adds a flair to it that is pretty unique all right so the final thing that we're doing is we are putting lecterns on all the different sides and the reason is for the angle that this actually like produces um it's really quite cool um what like the lectern is such a unique block because it has that angle um and we are actually i'm actually changing up oh wow we're out okay um i'm actually changing up what i originally was planning on doing with this because of this new idea so we are going to be changing things up a bit because i think this is a overall better design it looks cooler i'm happier with it and it yeah it's just significantly better i think now some of this stuff is going to be changed obviously because it doesn't make sense to have like like no wall here so i'm going to probably extend it and make the walls come out to here um, but i thought that this was a really cool look now let's get up 
above really quick. Of course, I can't jump over walls, a silly Billy. And there we are. There is our conveyor belt of trees. And I think it is super cool. I It just looks so industrial with all the different pistons and different cookery things that are being industrial blocks instead of actual smokers and stuff. I just think it looks really, really cool. So I went with, because of adding a power cell, uh, extra power cell in, there's only room for one, two trees to grow um, in our our line here, but that doesn't really make much of a difference to me. I don't think um, there is a hopper minecart that goes underneath. So every time, like I'll be able to grow stuff and as I'm chopping one tree down, the other one is gonna be decaying um, and vice versa. So it doesn't really matter to me. Spruce trees aren't the bane of my existence when it comes to farming things. It's really these dumb small ones that take forever and make my, my soul slowly die. So that is just a progress update. Wanted to bring you in for this and uh, let me get to continue building and I'm gonna build up this section where all the glass is now. Um, and yeah, I think Maybe I'll just come back with most of it built. All right. As you can see, there is a structure looming in the background. Let's take a moment to zoom in just a little bit. That is what it is looking like. And we're going to take a much closer look. It is not done. Uh, three of these sides around the, like the two other sides, I guess, that are there are not finished. I only did one just to sketch like of this stuff. Uh, let's zoom back out because we uh, only did one just to get the, a sense of what it's going to be. And there are actually going to be some changes made um, as I continue to build this off camera. Um, but for the episode today, I wanted to finish this one last part with you. So this is what it's going to actually look like. Um, this I built it in a strange way. Uh, it doesn't line up perfectly with things, and I'm okay with that, but I need to fix this side and then the other side. Currently, this is too wide. I'm going to shove this guy over to make this and this match perfectly. Right now, this has a three center, uh, three length center right here with fences. This one has two. And then this stuff has to not match because of it being different. So what I'm going to do is tear this all down except for the glass and stuff and then move this over and just remake this over here that'll make it more symmetrical make it much better i think and i think overall will be better so if we take a look at it from down here you can see just how foreboding it is for one this side i am going to make some sort of arch way up yonder that way um, just to encase it a little bit but not too much because the trees do have to be able to come all the way out um, the base structure here has some windows incorporated into it with some design just to make it a little bit more interesting to look into. I really wanted you to be able to see everything um, all the way through. Um, and then the back side here has something that goes all the way up that is housing uh, something at the very, very top, which we can take a look at now. All the way up here, I'm going to have to use another rocket just to be able to get all the way up there. So this is part of what we are currently going to make. So this little pillar here, not little, this big old pillar is holding this, which is sort of like this is like the attachment section and this is the rotation section. Um, so the idea is this would rotate. This has string and, or not string, but rope, hard, heavy duty rope that feeds in to this gear. And so this is what rotates. And then down below what we're going to make right now, it's going to be a quote unquote blade to chop the leaves and limbs off of the various uh, trees that are grown here. So that is the idea here. They are grown right there and then they move along the conveyor belt to right there, right in that position, locks in for a moment. And then this thing can drop down and quickly chop off all the limbs. Then it can retract all the way back up. And that's how we are going to be the how the steampunk city has uh, made a solution for being able to chop the limbs and stuff off. Just wanted to show you this upper portion because this is pretty much done. Um, there are some, some things that have to change, but I did 
actually make it so that this doesn't line up with the pillar properly. Um, it's eventually this is going to be lined up where the pillar is and we are following. But as I said, we are working right here and we're going to just jump right in. Now I have a screenshot I need to pull up really quickly and here we are. So the idea of it is going to be pretty simple. Um, it's going to be not that difficult of a, a thing to work out. I'm just going to put some, put a log down here. This is what's going to be holding the blade. Um, and then I don't actually think I have any andesite. But what we need is to have this come down to here. And then we're going to have some stairs. And so what I would like to do is to have this be looking more blade like there's some parts of the design that I don't necessarily love um, and you know that's okay it is gonna have to hang down a little bit so let me go ahead and get some and a sight here wow I take so much damage when I fall okay so I did a little bit of work um, I realized the connection point I had didn't make any sense um, <laughs> the more I looked at it the more I was like that really doesn't make sense as to how the rope would actually work. So what I've done is I've made it a hollow all the way up to where the rope is and that it gets fed down through the center. And then if you can see, it gets kind of like it's uh, spread out into these four sections and fed through this bit here. Um, and this is where the connection point is. So I need to make a couple more ropes and then we'll get into the building now. So now we're going to bring these guys down by one just so it shows that it's hanging a little bit. And then we're going to have maybe some wall points that are going to come down. And this is actually going to be a little bit more on the fly building and thinking through things because I had an idea and because I've changed it now, not a lot of this. I can go off of this screenshot, but I'm going to try and just think through this on my own a little bit because I think that helps you guys also be able to see my thought process. Now the, the purpose, the reason why I'm leaving all this open is because this has to slip around the entire tree. So it has to be able to slip through and not get caught. Um, so let's see here. Maybe this continues down by one and then let's put, oh, I need those stairs put some stairs on either side like this and then this is going to be with the kind of like the attachment point for the uh, blade okay that didn't work it will go under the block and then through and then like this and ooh, get me there okay um, so this is going to be level with the blade section and the blade is going to be interesting because the fun part is I figured out a way to make it so it kind of looks a little bit more like a blade and I, I really like it. We're using our iron bars um, and what we're doing is you put walls like that and so that kind of looks like it connects right here and then we're going to have a row underneath and it starts actually looking like a full on blade because then it's going to wrap all the way around and you'll get a good like 360 type of blade. Um, let's see here. What else do we want to do while we're up here? Maybe we go ahead and put some sort of buttons perhaps to show kind of bolts or rivets or something like that. Um, I think that could be good. Yeah. I think that'll be good. Um, so let me go ahead and put the buttons on the other side and then remake the scaffolding a little bit further down so we can continue. But we're almost, almost done. Okay, last bit. Ended up actually putting some fences up, he up there as well. Um, but that doesn't necessarily matter too much. It just helped to fill the space. This is the blade that I am talking about. And I wanted it to be just like a big old hacksaw looking type of thing. And I I think it looks pretty good. I mean, you look at it from afar and I mean, what else could that be in my head? I can't think of anything else that's that thin that could be considered a blade. And I really like it. So this is now the machine basically fully complete besides some minor decorations outside um, and the idea would be it grows up so we're gonna have a full tree there then we're gonna have a fake tree 
here that is just logs that we cut all the limb all the various limbs and leaves off and then this these two sections are where we actually cut down the trees so let me go ahead and get some mock trees up and then we'll wrap up the video all right it is done and oh my gosh did it take forever to get an actually decent looking spruce tree to grow i eventually had to go ahead and edit it myself because geez took stupid amounts of tries uh the main issue was needing it to grow tall enough to be like not derpy looking compared to these guys because these grew naturally obviously i chopped all the limbs off but i mean it just took forever so we have a a live one in there and then we have these ones that are gonna be limbless um and i honestly will probably extend the railway system that's underneath uh to this third platform right here um and then utilize that so we can chop three down because this one doesn't have to always be there um the this main one is the only one that i really wanted to stay alive um so that's not that big of a deal but this is it this is it all done and this is what it it looks like and so what's gonna happen uh off camera is i'm gonna build this area here which is going to be just where the trees kind of fall over the end of the conveyor belt is right here so i'm gonna have some sort of system that makes it look like they kind of it rolls under um and we're gonna probably put a bottom on it to where we don't have to actually build this conveyor belt underneath because we obviously can't because of the this system right here the minecart um but that is that is it that is what we have done in today's episode i think it looks so cool and especially from afar like if you look at it this place seems very quaint and then you see just in the background a big old looming thing but it doesn't stick up nearly as far as like the octacore obviously but it doesn't make it feel too industrial there you still get the greenhouse feel and then we have this more industrial section right here i'm very happy with it you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are on it because i am certainly out of time for this episode this episode is going to be late and i am terribly sorry for that uh, this just took a lot longer than i thought it was going to and there was some planning errors obviously with this stupid side just giving me the whirl around um, but that's okay. I'm happy with the end result. So this is, this is it. This is our spruce tree conveyor belt automatic chopper downy thingy that doesn't actually automatically chop it down. But you know, it's pretty cool. I am, I'm pleased with it. It's a cool idea. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you like the video, leave a like in real life. And if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the design of everything. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.